It is Flynn Patrick again, and it is an absolutely beautiful Thursday afternoon. I am super excited to release another video. We released our first 2018 NBA mock draft earlier today, and I was super excited about that because I am a big fan of the draft. We've gotten through 10 players so far, and we've got another 10 players to go before we get to that top 100 benchmark. I am super excited to release this video. It is going to be a great time. So without further ado, the number 110 player in the NBA for 2017-2018 is going to be Rudy Gay of the San Antonio Spurs. I remember on draft night back in 2006 when the Memphis Grizzlies traded Shane Battier for Rudy Gay and I remember as a 13 year old kid jumping up and down because I was super excited about the prospect of Rudy Gay turning around the Grizzlies franchise. And he was a good player for us, don't get me wrong, he was. Just reflecting on that memory, it's hard to believe that it is already Mr. Rudy Gay's 12th season in the NBA. Time absolutely flies. This was a transition year for Mr. Rudy Gay. This was really the first year of his NBA career where he wasn't the primary scorer on the team and he was a veteran role player off the bench. I will say this though, the fact that he completely ruptured his Achilles in January 2017 and the dude came back not even nine months later and played most of the season and played pretty efficiently. That is absurd. That shows just how powerful the power of the mind is. Good golly gee Wilkers. He still did miss 25 games though, and if he had played near a full season, I think he could have cracked our top 100. That being said, this was a promising season for Rudy Gay. A lot of NBA players who are in their 20s transitioning into their 30s have a tough time sometimes transitioning from being the star on a team to being willing to come off the bench and help as a role player. And Rudy Gay showed that he was more than willing to make that transition. Having that type of mentality tends to prolong NBA careers. And Rudy Gay took a right step in that direction. He shot a very respectable 47% from the field. He only played 22 minutes a game, but he still averaged 12 points a game and he made winning plays. He sort of played power forward instead of small forward like he has before in his career. So he played in the post more, but he was still very effective for mid range and he played good defense and he was absolutely a crucial part of the Spurs success this season. Overall, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for Rudy Gay as he was a Memphis Grizzly for as he was a Memphis Grizzly for seven and a half years. And he was always a fun player to watch. He is still a fun player to watch. It's crazy to think he's been in the league 12 years. He has shown that going into his 30s, he's willing to make that transition to a role player. And when you are able to do that and have that mindset as an NBA player, usually your career tends to last longer. Thank you so much for joining us. Rudy Gay, the number 110 player in the NBA for 2017-2018. We've got nine more players to go until we hit that top 100. We will be coming out with the number 109 player shortly.